Hello, and thank you for joining me tonight. I go by Loon and Neat. I just wanted to lend a little introduction to some of you who may just be stumbling across my YouTube channel or, um, you know, want to get a better feel for who it is over here <laughs> making these videos and why, like where they come from. But essentially on the channel, the Loon and Neat, which is the name I've taken as my working name, as a sort of spiritual name or business name, you can even say, or brand, it kind of turned into that. Um, it comes from uh, a few places. I really love the sound of Lunini. I love that it sounds like Illumini, and that's very much about, or tied to rather, the concept, my personal belief or my personal way of looking at things in that we have this light, aka knowledge or awareness or insight within us that we are born with. And there are times when you have a conversation or you read a book or you watch a movie or something and it speaks to a part of your higher mind, your innate intelligence, which was already there. And it kind of shines a light, just like you could picture the moon in the sky, being um, capturing or reflecting the light of the sun. It's like something that was already present and when we shine a light on it or when something touches or activates or, or sets off this kind of mirrored uh, reaction in, in ourselves in some way, um, it, it's there. We, we, we can see it then and it kind of becomes more of a part of us. That's how I feel about spirituality about learning mystery teachings and working with healing and all of this stuff so that's where lunate comes from for those of you who might be curious and um to share what i am what i do uh it's always hard right to like share this kind of stuff or put a label personally on on my beliefs or what i'm working with over here but essentially for my profession i am an energy worker I'm also a teacher. I teach Reiki modalities. I teach other mystery teachings that are supportive to healing. So regarding manifesting, chakras, crystals, and any other area like that, including some of the more esoteric mystery teachings, such as sharing about symbolism or tarot or hermeticism or other ancient practices, studies, philosophies, etc. And all of this peppers my spiritual work. All of this comes in and plays in the work that I do. Just like any other healer or any other artist or any other person of any profession, their themselves it said sounds weird, right? But their their self is going to come through in their work. So if you resonate with the videos that I'm creating, you know, thank you, because that means on some level our souls are vibing, and I'm truly honored for that. What you're gonna find here on my channel, I mean, I feel like it might be a bit obvious, but I specifically love to use this channel to create energy work sessions for people who might not have access to energy work who just don't want to like even go there, <laughs> don't want to make the call, don't want to set up an appointment, or maybe are isolated in terms of, you know, there's not a lot of that going on in the neighborhoods or, you know, places in the world that they might be. Um, but also something that's just very accessible. I have found, you know, it sounds a bit much, but Reiki, learning Reiki was one of the things that really changed my life. So I want to put that out there. I created this channel after I became a Reiki master and I was essentially so feeling so connected and I didn't have a lot of clients back then and I like it had to come out. I had to distribute it somewhere, which is why I started this channel. Over the three years or so that I've been doing this here on YouTube, it's taken such a beautiful shape. We've got an aesthetic, we've got lighting, I've got an office now. <laughs> so it's been really beautiful beautiful, you know, for some of you who have been with me for a long time or have been watching this for a while to, you know, watch that evolution. But um, I guess what I'm trying to, to just wrap up here is that while I do consider myself a teacher in terms of mystery teachings, energy work, and all of that, I don't consider myself a guru. I don't consider myself the end all of anything or the um, supreme of anything beyond myself and my own, you know, perspective and world and mastery but 
in relation to other people, I don't play that role. I don't share what I'm passionate about in a way or with intentions to persuade someone or talk someone into believing something they're not comfortable with or sell anything. It's That's not my stance at all. I'm very much about free will. I'm, you know, into all that stuff. So anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't create these videos to put myself in this place of um, the guru level, you know, like that's not me. I am sharing myself, I'm sharing my passions, I'm sharing my work, and only hoping to be some support to you. That might be strictly through a relaxing video, and that's all you're really into, and that's cool. It might be you are looking for something, looking for a message, looking for something that comes across in one of the videos that really speaks to you on that innate soul level, and you feel changed by it and it might play into your life so that's an honor for me as well <laughs> and I guess my my mission is just to be this friendly face along your path to support you to encourage you hold the field for you hold the field for you to step into your next self your highest version all of that amazing stuff I've been working on this stuff for a long time I've I've had a very spiritual as a young child, a very spiritual connection through high school, it kind of went away and then it came back really hard after some events that happened to me as I was, you know, a, an adult or more so an adult. <laughs> and that really played a part in my own journey. You might be going through thing, things like that as well. You might have no connection to spirituality. You might be of some religious background. Like all of these things are fine. This is not denominational. This is not pushy. It's always take what resonates and leave what you will type thing. So I just wanted to say hello again and thank you guys for stumbling here. I feel like for the most part, you know, I don't want to sound cornball too much, <laughs> but we come across anything at the right time. Like I really believe that whether it's a new coffee shop, <laughs> a band, a CD, an album, or even a YouTube video, you know, um, even our dreams, I feel like are communicating to us at the right time, right? So all of that stuff plays in here and we are otherworldly. We are kind of out there, but we're also grounded and silly and playful. And that's kind of the vibe I want to keep here. Um, thank you so much, must say, you know, to those supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for that. It makes things so much easier for me <laughs> and keeps me, you know, grounded in that aspect. So thank you so much and as well as tingles those of you who i have been blessed to connect with um, whether here in my office i do teach one-to-one -one, or in groups or i do sessions here in my office or i'm not crazy about the world but the word but spiritual type of counseling or like spiritual talks um, as well as teach distance these are things that i can do through skype google hangouts facetime with you as well so if you are looking specifically for a reiki teacher or someone to kind of talk to about this stuff i'm not trying to push myself on you but um i don't i have to share that that's, <laughs> that is what i do so i am available for those kind of things and you can check out my website or whatever all right anyway again thank you so much happy 2019 <laughs> I'm recording this on the second so it's very freshly a fresh year over here and the vibe is there you know so as always i'm sending you so much love and appreciation and from the bottom of my heart namaste